Good day, YouTube. It is the 17th of January, 2023. This is a 14.5 uh, horse Craftsman ride mower. If you can call it a ride mower, because it doesn't have a deck, it doesn't mow no more. Um, picked it up this morning for free, went all the way to the Oregon coast to get it, and drug it home. Um, don't know a thing about it. I, the back tires were completely flat and off the bead. We got those things aired back up. Um, so I could roll it, and we brought it in the shop, waiting on the head gasket for my uh, club car golf cart. So it's going to be a few days, so I picked up a few projects for free, just to have something to play with, and uh, see if we can get them going, and then we'll find them new homes. So, uh, what is this thing? There's a tag under the seat. You look at the serial number, so July 11th at 97. So this is uh, 26 years old. Let's just call it 26 year old mower, and she'd been sitting a while. We pulled the battery out of this thing in a separate video, actually. And we have it over there working on my uh, fancy battery charger. I bought at Harbor Freight, so. Uh, There'll be uh, another video if you want to look. It's one newer or one older than this one, depending on how I get them posted. Um, that battery is seven-ish years old, and we're going to see if that fancy battery charger will bring it back to any kind of life. Uh, at least we'll put the battery back in the thing and it'll start it. Well, maybe. That's if it runs. So the deck's gone, which usually means... The motor's good. If the motor's out of it and the deck's on it, then, you know, the motor was the cause of the demise of the machine. So, I normally run these by the car wash, but I'm honestly not sure if this one's worth the quarters to clean it. But, before we uh, commence to cranking on this thing, I suppose we should do some checking on it make sure that it's worth cranking on I did grab a hold of the flywheel cage there it did spin so that's a good sign does it have compression yes it does feels good let's check the oilage and it is uh, not quite to the ad. It actually doesn't look too bad. It, it's, I mean, you expect these things to look horribly dirty because people just don't take care of them, but it's not that bad. I mean, it needs change, but pretty good. All right, never want to crank on it with the air filter in it because critters build nests in the air cleaners. And some of these foam type air cleaners can just rot. And you don't want to suck any of that in. And uh, other than some grass, which is expected around the pre filter, this is a Briggs and Stratton filter. We might be able to just clean the pre filter, blow it out, put it back in. But we'll take it all the way off for starting purposes. There we go. We'll get that grass out of there so it don't get sucked in. All right, there we go. Now then, the old fuel situation. What do we got going on in here? Hopefully it's empty. It's not. It's got gas in it. It has a little gas in it. Do you want to see in there? And you know what? It smells like gas. It doesn't look too discolored. Um, smell that? It actually smells... 
decent. There's a few things in there that shouldn't be in there, but it's not dirty. Well, this is interesting. You, this was at a, uh, like a house that had kind of been abandoned and there was kind of a free sign out there. Just said free. Actually, my dad spotted this last night along with another machine. Sent me pictures of them. And uh, he said I took the free sign and flipped it face down in the grass so nobody else would get it. So I ran over early. I was up at 5.30 this morning. Picked this beautiful machine up. So, um, well, let me put you on hold and let me uh, put that battery in this thing and uh, see if it works. I got to, I'll be darned. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I really didn't think we were just going to see if it would start. But I wonder if the throttle moves. Oh, all the way to choke. Yep, that's good. The key turns. Okay. Take the clutch out. Not that we have a blade. And this has this clutch brake thing here if it works. Uh oh. Not necessarily. Uh, so the clutch doesn't feel like it's going to play nice. Yeah. Maybe it will. So we might have a limit switch or something to fiddle with. All right, no time like the present. Let's get that battery in there. I'll go get it off the charger. All right, the charger's once again cycled. It turned itself on, it charged for a while, it turned itself off. If I hit the button, set its capacity, 100% voltage, 13.1. Shocking. I am ready to Put this battery in this lawn tractor and see if it'll crank um it's, it's probably only been 15 20 minutes since uh my last video clip so let's do that unplug the charger there it goes we'll unclip the battery let me uh reposition you and let's put it in I am so curious if this is going to do anything. Let's, uh, I wire brush the lugs on the cables. hardware I'll get this bolted in and we'll give her a try all right I don't know anything about this machine with the limit switches all work or not don't know but I'm using this clip for two videos one for the battery charger video and one for this tractor video so if you've seen it once you'll see it again if you watch both videos it is okay um, I know if we depress this, there we go, and we locked it in on this little dashboard lever, that it should crank. Does it run? Don't know. Don't know anything about it. But, uh, choke, 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 here we go. Nothing, nothing. Seat button. Let me uh, get some new tape for the safety on the seat. It was taped shut at one time. That tape has left the building. Probably when it was 105 degrees outside. I 
All right. Take that button down. Now let's see if it does anything. Nothing. Still disengage. That's up. Transmission neutral. All right. I have to jump around some stuff, but let me put you on hold. All right, I don't know what's causing the solenoid not to function, but I just grabbed a screwdriver. We're going to jump across the solenoid and see if she cranks. So let's start. It's got fresher fuel in it. Uh, exhaust will go out the front. Here we go. Well, I think that's all that battery had in it. I don't know. I don't know. All these connections are so bad. Yeah, 11.8, so probably not going to do a battery charger video because it, it led, a, uh, led us down a different path there, like this was going to be decent. It's not decent. All right, I'm just going to check a voltmeter here. All right, I put this battery in it. Uh, it should be okay. I think it's only a couple years old. It showed up in that Yamaha electric golf cart, if you've watched that video. Um, all right. I'm going to have to jump solenoid again because we haven't sorted out why it doesn't work. But here we go. Choke's on. It might run. It might Maybe. What the heck? Is that battery jump too? Or just horrible connections, which they are. What I hit. I don't know. Maybe that battery's no good either. Jumper pack. Jumper pack. All right, third time's a charm. Where's my screwdriver? Hmm. Right. Let me twist on some rusty connections. All right, sorry for the delay. We we're going straight jumper pack straight to the starter. Bypassing everything. All right, try it. All right, starter fluid or something close to it. 
Uh, yeah. Yep, here we go. Oh yeah, try this one. Jumper pack died. Fired. Fired, didn't run. Jumper pack died. All right, I took that battery out of the battery box and we're gonna run it straight to the starter with jumper cables. Shall we? Here we go. It's a gravity feed fuel system, so I guess we'll take the fuel line apart to see what we got. Do we got any gas in the line? Yep. Oh, you know what? It's got this uh, solenoid carb, too. She's a leaking. Vice grips. So again, with that uh, solenoid on the carburetor, that thing, you shut the key off, it shuts that solenoid off. And I don't, A, have enough experience, or B, have a wiring diagram handy. I'm going to have to pull one up, see what it takes to uh, override that, or I'm going to have to take it apart and uh, cut it off. Let me dig in. Okay, we have... Uh, Taking the air box off. To get it off, there's the two nuts right here. And there's one little bolt right there. That little bolt hits right there. 5 sixteenths nut driver or socket took that off. So we took the nuts off of these studs. And then to get the studs out, I got a deep 8 millimeter socket. Pretty tight. This carburetor never been off of here, I'm betting. She is gunky. Okay, I got the gas line already off. This stupid solenoid. I tried to jump the solenoid, I mean I put 12 volts to it. I don't think it's working, or it's all gummed up, or all of the above. Wow. It's not coming out. Dang it. Finally.
Gonna need a bigger hammer. Pop that carburetor off there, it should just fall off. Like that. You make a little place for it. Again, that little solenoid's put there to kind of keep it from backfiring, etc. Okay, the little spring, be delicate with it. Then hook it. Let's see. Choke. Got it. Throttle. Got it. Alright. She's a little crusty. But it was probably uh, still working there. Whatever. Alright, let's clean it up. Alright. Spray her down there a little bit. Yep. Yuckers. All right, let me clean this up a little bit. That carburetor was so dirty. Brought it out here to the parts cleaner. Range plugged. Hang on. All right. Ooh, this carburetor smells right. I didn't anticipate using the parts washer today. It is a, a heated parts washer, but I obviously don't run the water, the solvent heater constantly, because I use it rarely. But had I had anticipated needing it, I'd have turned it on an hour ago. This hot degreaser is great. Degreaser, let me tell you. better this thing will do a great job if you let it do its business for a little while but uh, that got a lot of the gunk off of it alrighty what's it take to get this thing off a wrench of some sort what size well, half Ooh, too wide. That's going to be interesting. Let me find a wrench. All right, I just went and put this in the vise. Stuck a screwdriver through here. This thing came right loose. Um, I didn't have a wrench thin enough to get in there. And I wasn't going to ruin a wrench over this carburetor. Yeah, this thing was completely stuck. It may free up, but what we're probably going to do is just cut it off and defeat it, okay? 
because it wasn't allowing anything to happen. It was drawing an arc when I put the little wire on it, my little test wire. So I think the coil was good in it, but it just wasn't moving. I'm not keeping this thing, so I don't care. Yuckers. So it was a little gross inside. Yep. We're just going to do a quick clean. Anybody that wants to do anything with this machine should probably replace this old carburetor. Oh, it's cleaning up pretty good though. Cleaned up better than I thought it would. Okay, what do we got going on in here? Let's see if that jet will come out of there. Pull this float off. So, yeah, the needle is stuck right now. There we go. It moved. Let's see if we can get the jet out. If it's going to fight us, we're not going to ruin it. We'll just spray cleaner through it. You need the right size screwdriver to go down in there and engage that properly. Yeah. Yeah, we're ruining it. Can't go there. Okay. I'm going to pump the compressor up. I'm going to blow air through the main jet and just make sure that the everything's flowing through the fuel inlet through where the needle is. I don't want to touch the camera here for a sec because I got carb cleaner on my fingers. I don't need to mess up my new phone. Oh, you've been going this whole time. Sorry, I thought I put you on hold. I don't know what you've seen and what you haven't seen. My bad. All right. Hmm. I should have noted better where all this was. Governor, governor, governor. All right.
fight that for a minute. Oh, you don't need to watch that. All right, what do you say we uh, try this again? I released the fuel to flow to the carburetor. It filled it up, and then it needle seat aren't holding. Surprise, surprise. So I put the clamp back on it. I'm going to remove my little jumper wire that I was trying to use on that solenoid. Okay. Now. This will run. Not sure how I'll shut it off exactly. Burn it till the gas goes out, I guess. Here we go. back in there it's not leaking for the moment try again run we know it needs a carburetor but uh yeah it works what do you say guys i think we'll end the video here i'm gonna put this thing back together list it for sale as a parts machine um that it does run and the rest of it they can figure out right on thanks guys for watching comment subscribe and thumbs up on the way out and uh thanks for hanging out we got some old junk we're playing with but uh you know just something to do today there we go. Catch you on the next one.